All right, we are at day three of tree application. Let's hop to it, children. Mm -mm -mm. All right, not an application problem here, actually, to start us out. A uh, uh, trick there, yes, mm, indeed. Just a little warm-up here. Maybe just a little, little, little classic math problem. we got to solve for x. Well, if I'm solving for an angle, what am I going to do? I'm going to be using inverse trig. Well, with respect to this particular angle here, this is my opposite side. This is my adjacent. What uses opposite and adjacent? Tangent inverse of my opposite over my adjacent. What is that going to give me, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if I do that into my calculator as I keep talking here and I type things in and make mistakes as I type it in, and then I eventually will figure it out. All right, 64. 0.44, so 64 degrees if I'm running it to the nearest degree, right? It was 64.4400, blah, 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 blah. All right, lovely. Cool. So, not an application, but still using the trick. All right, we got P. Diddy is straight up chilling in his penthouse as he looks down at the regular folk below. The angle of depression from Diddy to the peasants below is 35 degrees. We are the peasants in this case, children. All right, if the distance from Diddy to the peasants is 400 meters. How many stories up is Diddy's penthouse? Assume one story is about 10 feet. Woo! Woo! All right. Well, let's draw this. This sounds wonderful. And I'm not sure if I meant to do this, but it looks like we're going to have some unit conversions eventually as well. All righty. So Diddy's just chilling, right? He's up in his penthouse. I'm going to draw the building up here. Diddy. P. Diddy. There he is. All right, and he's checking out the, uh, the peasants below, and uh, the angle of depression is 35 degrees. So here are here's ground level, right, and, and here are the peasants. All right, and if we want to make it plural, I guess we have to have uh, two peasants here. That way we have peasants instead of just peasant. Okay, there he is, and it, it's an angle of 35 degrees, that angle of depression. Now remember, the angle of depression is... Right up here, it's the angle that it makes uh, with a line that's parallel to the ground, okay? So really, this angle up here, again, is the same as this angle down here because they are alternate interior angles. And with parallel lines, the alternate interior angles are congruent, okay? So you can think about it either way. I like to just throw the angle down here because it makes more sense to me, right? So this is 35, but yeah. So theta is 35. I like it. Okay. Now, um... The distance from Diddy to the peasants is 400 meters, meaning this guy right here is 400 meters. How many stories up is Diddy's penthouse? Well, we want to figure out how high up it is, so that means we're looking for this. So let's figure out what X is. Well, if I'm looking at this problem here, uh, with respect to the 35 degree angle, this is my opposite side. And of course, since this is my right angle, this is my hypotenuse. Okay, so I'm using sine. So sine of 35 degrees, is equal to my opposite, which is x, over my hypotenuse, which is 400. Now, when I plug that into my calculator, sine of 35 times 400, right, because i got to multiply by 400, multiply by 400 if I'm going to do some algebra, boom, that gets x by itself. It means x is equal to about 229.43 meters. Okay. Well, there's, so that's, if you got that and you're cool with that, that's the, that's the math that we're really worried about here, guys. All right. I would ask you to solve for this. I'm not going to necessarily have you do all these crazy unit conversions, right? Um, but this is what we'd get for our height of where Diddy is. But just for fun, because, because everybody loves a good math problem. Um, how many stories up is he? Uh, let's see here. We're going to have to do a little bit of Googling here because we want to do some, uh, some unit conversions, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, meters to feet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google that. You can hear me typing at the moment. Uh, we got 229.43. I'm going to put in all the decimals because I'm crazy. 0574540418. I might have more decimals because I'm doing this on my phone. Right, I get 752 feet. So once I've converted it, I've got 752.724 ish 
um, so on and so forth, uh, feet. So how many stories is that? Well, if a story is 10 feet, about, if I divide that by 10, I'm looking at about 75 stories up. Boom. There's my final, final answer. All right. I mean, we could give you a question like that if I kept it all in the same units, but we won't have you do a unit conversion like meters to feet. Who knows that one? I didn't know that one. It says, uh, for an approximate result, multiply the length value by 3.281. That's our formula. Okay, thanks, Google. All right, wonderful. All right, we got a little more Lil Yachty action here. He's sailing with T-Pain on his Lil Yachty. They are approaching a lonely island with a lighthouse that is 100 feet above sea level. They observe a 22-degree angle of elevation to the top of the lighthouse. How far are they from the island? So this could actually be kind of useful if you are sailing or traveling or whatever, um, and you don't know your actual distance from it. I know it might seem silly to you, but it, it is useful, okay? Um, so there's a lighthouse that is 100 feet above sea level, okay? So that could probably be a known fact about a, a certain lighthouse if you are a sailor. Um, you probably know some of these things as you're approaching a certain harbor, right? Okay, um, so it's 100 feet tall, 100 feet above sea level, so that makes a right angle. Here's their little yachty. Yay! And they observe a 22-degree angle, boom, of elevation to the top, to the tippy top of the lighthouse up there. How far are they from the island? So I'm looking for that bad boy right there. Well, I've got my degree measure, and across from that, my opposite side, whoops, my opposite side, I'm going to use a different color marker, here we go, is 100. My adjacent side is X, so I'm using TOA. Yay! I guess we usually do that all in caps. TOA. So let's set up our tangent function. I'd have tangent of 22 degrees is equal to my opposite over my adjacent. So to solve this one, this is the one where it's a little bit more uh, involved with algebra. I multiply by x, and then I'll divide by tangent of 22, right? Because I'm going to have x times the tangent of 22 is equal to 100, and then I divide by tangent of 22. So I get x is equal to approximately, when I type this bad boy into my calculator, 247.50868, so on and so forth. That is how many feet they are away from the island at this point in time. So they can, uh, you know, maybe reduce speed here soon. Um, but there you go. Little little application with Lil Yachty and T-Pain chilling on his little Yachty, approaching that lighthouse, that little island there, the harbor, if you will. Okay. All right, this last problem of our, of our application problems is a doozy. I will not lie to you. After picking up Kanye and Drake at the island, they head west, get it, toward another dope island. This island also has a lighthouse, but they don't know how high this one is above sea level. They observe a 17-degree angle to the top of the lighthouse. They sail 500 feet and then observe a 25-degree angle to that same lighthouse. How far are they from the island? Drake also plans to climb to the top of the lighthouse, so he wants to know how high the lighthouse is above the sea level so he can prepare, prepare himself to start from the bottom. Get, you guys get catch those references? I hope so. We got Kanye heading west and Drake starting from the bottom, and eventually he'll end up here. Okay, lots and lots of wonderful information. So let's draw this little scene here, if you will. Um, all right, we've got... Again, this lighthouse that we don't know how tall it is, and they're a certain distance away. And then, let's see, that was a 17-degree uh, angle, right? 17 degrees. Then they sailed 500 feet, right? And they did another observation to the top of that lighthouse, and that was a 25-degree angle. They want to know how far they are from that wonderful base of the lighthouse, which would be this measurement here. But Drake also wants to know how high up that lighthouse is, which would be this measurement right here. So we also want to figure out what that is. All right, so we got two questions to answer, 
and we don't have enough information to just do right off the bat, right triangle, wonderful trig. Okay. Well, let's see what we can set up, all right? Because, again, this is the trickiest of the right triangle trigonometry problems that we are going to be faced with. So let's look at the outer triangle, okay? The big triangle here, this guy out here. I've got a 17-degree angle, right? I want to find out what this is, and I kind of know some information about this, right? So let's set up with this triangle, and then we'll set up another one with this triangle, all right? We'll use our two right triangles that we can make. They overlap each other, right? So for the first one I'll do in green, it'll be, uh, well, if I want the Y side, that's my opposite, and then this is my adjacent down here. And that's the case for both of these. So they're both tangent that we're dealing with. So I got tangent, oops, we got uh, tangent of 17 is equal to, my opposite, which is y, over my adjacent, which is 500, plus x. So that's one of them. And the other one, we'll do this in, uh, we'll go purple. Tangent, oops, of 25 is equal to my opposite, which is y, over my adjacent, which is x. Okay. Hmm. So what could we do here? That is the question. Do we see any commonalities between these two equations? Now, one thing that I notice is that they both have y, and that y is by itself, and it is in the numerator. Could we potentially isolate that y in both of them? Absolutely, we can so for the green equation, I'm going to multiply by 500 plus x. And for the purple equation, I'm going to multiply by just x. For, so for the green one, I'm going to have 500 plus x times the tangent of 17 is equal to y, right? That would get the y by itself. And then for the purple one, I'm going to have x times the tangent of 25 is equal to y. Hmm. So these are both equal to y. You guys notice that? They are both equal to y. That just seems too wonderful to be true. But it, it is true. So what could I do with the two messy tangent sides, right? If they both equal y, don't they equal each other? And if you say yes to that, you are absolutely correct. I'm going to shrink this down even a bit more so we got a little more room to work awesome all right I'm gonna set my two equations equal to each other because they both equal y so I've got um, 500 plus x times the tangent of 17 is equal to x times the tangent of 25 is there a way to solve for x absolutely so let's do that. I'm going to start doing some algebra because I love algebra, and you guys always say, hey, man, I'm good at algebra. All right. So I'm going to distribute this tangent into my parentheses. So I'm going to have 500 times the tangent of 17 is equal to, oops, sorry, not equal to yet, plus x times the tangent of 17 equals x tangent of 25. Okay. Now, you may or may not notice this. So I'm going to I'm going to subtract the x tangent of 17. Subtract x tangent of 17. And my reason for that is now I have 500 times the tangent of 17 is equal to x tangent of 25 minus x tangent of 17. What do you notice in common on that right-hand side there of this equation? Whoa. I'm going to move this and that so we got a little more room. What do you notice that they have in common there, guys? They both have x's. Okay. Again, shrinking stuff, continuing to work. Awesome. Actually, why don't I move this? So we can still see everything. Okay, I like that. I like that. 
I could do a little bit of factoring here. I'm going to transition to a new color now. All right, so we've got 500 tangent of 17 is equal to, and I could take out this x, and then it'll be tangent of 25 minus tangent of 17. Right? I took out an x, and I'm left with those tangents behind. All right, well, tangent of 25 minus the tangent of 17, that's just a number, folks. That is just a number. So I can actually divide on both sides by tangent of 25 minus tangent of 17. And I'm actually going to add an extra set of parentheses because when you plug that in your calculator, you want to have that extra set of parentheses around it, okay? Okay. All right, so once that is all plugged in, and I plug all this, this whole bad boy can be plugged into my calculator all at once, and I will get x equals 951.975456, so on and so forth. Okay, so roughly 900, we'll say x is approximately 950 two feet. So they are currently sitting about 952 feet offshore from the base of the lighthouse, if you will. Okay, well that's a, a lovely piece of information. Uh, it didn't tell me what to round to, but we'll just, we'll go with feet. I think that that'll be enough for them as they are sailing into port. Now, uh, the next thing I have to do here is I need to find why. Hmm, well, how am I going to do that? Well, if I take a look over here at, uh, and actually I'm going to box it for us with a nice, wonderful red marker. This guy right here. It's already solved for Y. So is the green one above it. But this one's a little bit easier to work with, it appears, right? It's just X times the tangent of 25. Well, if I take what I have for X, so X times the tangent of 25, if I substitute that 952, right, if I substitute this in for X, plug in my calculator, I will get my Y. Well, you've already got it in your calculator. Hopefully you didn't clear it out yet. If not, you can always type it in again. But it's not rounded in my, well, it's rounded way far off my calculator, but we don't want to round it ourselves and do 952 times tangent of 25, because that's going to be a slightly different answer, right? Remember, hashtag yo -ro. you only round once, yes. That is, so uh, those are words to live by, okay? So I'm just going to hit the multiplication sign of my calculator and then type in tangent of 25. And I shall get y equals approximately 443.91344, so on and so forth. So approximately 444 feet when I round that properly for my y value. Mm hmm. So that is how high the lighthouse is. So Drake knows when he starts from the bottom, he will end up here, 444 feet above sea level. Man, that's uh, some pretty great stuff. I'm sure Kanye and Drake are very much appreciative of all this wonderful information that you've just worked out for them. Mm hmm. Cool. So again, you would still get the same answer plugging it into this green one here. It's just a little bit tougher to work with uh, with this equation. This was so quick and easy with this one because I could just hit times and then type tangent of 25. And voila, got my answer. Um, lovely. That was, that was lots and lots of fun, I'd say. Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Your homework is a trig application worksheet for day three. It is posted online. Or if your teacher is nice enough, they would have uh, printed it out for you. Generally, I'm not nice enough to print it out for you, or it's, I blame it on, uh, I want to save the trees, yes? So um, I will post it on the interwebs. All right, good day. Go America.